Hello folks, hi everybody on YouTube. Well, what's wrong with Japan? Anybody knows the answer or something? Like I heard stories and I seen some videos of sexless Japan, of what happened, of population declining and <clears throat> instead of population, you know, you know that to produce every each country has to be successful with its people with its people and its industries and its population and innovation well point out in the story is one thing is that once I, once I hear <coughs> I'm going to hear about the lack of people, of, of increasing instead of decreasing, instead of increasing the populations. Well, I have said it before. Well, is it's going to be like this. By the future or by the new future, you have more Asian, more Asian priests in the Roman Catholic Church than families in, then families in Japan would be between a husband and wife and kids you know what kind of idea is that rather you know I'd rather be a Catholic priest than a husband with a wife and kids kind of kind of mentality right well the reason why is the people are like they're like not interested in sex at all, or they want to do something, or change of religion. Most likely the Catholicism, you know, so as a Shinto uh, Buddhist country, people might be converted to Catholicism, and they rather decided to become a priest or nuns instead of having a family just to help out the Catholic Church to have priests and then the result to have more Asian priests in the Catholic Church and most likely most of these priests will come from Japan right anyway this is something it is I respect Abby and I would say the people that wanna wanna have kids wanna get married living in Japan more power to to you absolutely it will be great it will be great as it, it as Japan is a very successful country and very technologically advancements all come from Japan without Japan will be like I don't know will be like the United States is the only country that have all these uh, inven advancements in technology or Germany or the or Britain but we don't mind gonna find out of anything else comes out comes out in, in its way well this is where it comes to be that every even though inve most inventions are from the US and Europe US and Europe well as I could tell you, as Japan is the innovator, they innovated TVs. They now the things come in reverse, you know. Now is us. Maybe someday, even the Chinese are having a faster high-speed rail train than Japan's Shinkansen. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But the most important thing to do, if it's an Abbynomics, or if I was Abby, well, if I was Abby, I would choose a secondary lang, an official secondary language for Japan. It's not English. Screw the English language as the as the official secondary language as J in Japan. Well, I prefer. The secondary languages in Japan to be Spanish and why Spanish because most of all here in the United States most of the people if they cannot come in all these I don't know if this if this immigration reform or so if they cannot come 
in to the US and most of them come from Spanish speaking countries let Japan have their secondary official language to be Spanish the Spaniards in Japan were the first one of the settlers that brought Christianity to Japan and probably that is going in that way but most likely if that kind of chain of, con of conversions from Shintoism, Shintoism Buddhist to Christianity most likely Catholic Christianity from the Catholic Church because the priests can't get married and they can't have sex you know people are not interested in fucking so why not well there's some kind of serious problems I don't know why will happen I think that the a new legislation of reform I mean it's changing the Constitution in Japan so it could be of all different changes have people that migrate to Japan you know have Spanish as the official secondary language and that way um, people of, of Japanese descent you know purely for full-blooded um, natives of Japan could have students or you know they could go to learn and be Spanish teachers from the from the Royal Spanish Academy in Spain so we just sent Japanese students in Spain to fix Japan's future uh, and teaching Japanese kids Spanish if you teach Japanese kids Spanish the few of them are that are left in Japan you know from elementary all the way to high school yes from elementary to high school people will get Spanish lessons as as um, officially as government approval as Japanese as the first main language their main secondary or special language Spanish has been you know has to be you know obligated by the government because it's for the future of Japan you know without Spanish Japan cannot succeed you know Spanish is the way to go and what I thought about this is that this you know most of the people you know in Spanish speaking countries want to come to the United States or they want to come to Canada and we're not talking about Canada in that place but we're talking about the United States of America like, like um, Morano has said, United States of America. Well, yeah, if they cannot come here and they're like, you know, they get rejected from coming in, coming into the United States, they could go to Japan. They could go to Japan if Japan puts Spanish as the official secondary language. You know, Spanish as Japan's secondary, official secondary language could fix all the problems. You know, if we had a Spanish long time ago in Japan, you know, most likely Mexican immigrants in Japan would turn off the fire quicker at Fukushima in a snap. In one, two, three. But who's going to help them? Mexican immigrants in Japan are the ones that are going to help out, you know, turn down the Fukushima uh, Daiichi plant in one, two, three. And... And everybody's safe in Japan. That's why what happened in Mexico with, with Laguna Grande, Laguna, Laguna Grande blows up. It's gonna it's gonna turn off quicker than Fukushima. You know, <laughs> and that's what I mean. So companies like Sony and you know are taking over. You know, it's like this. All these things is that everything is reverse. Back then. Japanese companies were the kings of the industry. Now it's up to us. We're taking their place out. Yes, U.S. companies. Apple has a ring a bell. GM, Ford. Well, U.S. based companies. Who knows? You know, it's just a matter of fact that 
for things like this, you know, it's like, what's going on? If Japan don't have their guts to fix their thing, you know, really, really fix their problem with this thing of immigration. You know, have these immigrant, this love biting citizens you have you know you could bring out the first immigrants to come there are people from Spain people from Spain in what sort of way to teach their kids Spanish in schools Spanish teachers right you bring Spanish teachers you know this will be the successful thing for Japan will done Spanish teachers and putting you know like Spain Japan and Spain together even the Royal Academy in Spain the Royal Academy of, of Spanish in Spain would be have it that Japan secondary official language is Spanish and then the the progress in Japan will skyrocket more people working in Japan and that's why if you put Spanish as a secondary official language in Japan Japan will be very successful Sony will be successful all these Japanese companies will be very successful because you have this new reform that of Sp that Spanish as an, as the secondary official language in Japan well the CEO of Sony will have his last name be Rodriguez and then that will be n f more no normal if you have so Japanese companies then that you have people's last names of the CEO's name like name Rodriguez or Mendez or Sanchez or whatever Spanish last name that means progress has been very successful in Japan. Japan's greatest success is to put Spanish as the secondary language in Japan. Well, I mean, you could write me a comment, you could do anything what you want to say. Span, uh, 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 Japan need to have have the, the Royal Academy of Spain, Spanish in Spain, have sent students to Spain to be Spanish teachers that so they could go to Japan you know after they study Spanish they could go to Japan and study Spanish from high from elementary school to high school as Japan's official secondary language to be as officially officially approved by the Japanese government if Spanish to become the secondary language in Japan then Japan will be very successful and popul instead of population decreasing it will probably be population increasing because I think Spanish I think if, if Japan puts Spanish as the official secondary language in Japan Japan will be more successful than ever you know Please write me a comment and please tell me what you think of Japan approving Spanish as the secondary language. We don't want Japan to lose its population. We want, you know, I would like to go to Japan, but I would love to see Japan have this progress of, you know, of new immigration approval and and have Spanish as Japan's secondary official language approved by the Japanese government and that the Royal Academy of Spain will have Japan as one of the countries that know Spanish and Japan would be the only country in Asia to have Spanish as the official language not just Japanese is the first language, but Japan will be the only country in Asia will to have Spanish as their official language of the country of Japan because I want Japan to progress and that is why Spanish has to be the official secondary language in Japan for Japan to succeed. Goodbye folks and peace out.